Now to that possible medical breakthrough, researchers at Stanford University and UCSF making a big discovery that could help lead to a cure for the common cold. Dr. Ashton is here with all the details. All right, Dr. Ashton, tell me about this scientific advance. Is it a cure? Not yet, but possibly. <laughs> and we need to tell our grandmas you can put the garlic away because it does look like they're, they're onto something here. In the past, the virus ca that causes the common cold called the enterovirus, it's sneaky. So it evades targeting. We can't disable that virus. What they did at UCSF and Stanford is they actually targeted the receiver of the virus. So if you think of it like this lock and key, if the lock is actually the cell that gets infected, the key is the virus, instead of disabling this, they disabled disabled the protein on the cell that is found to be non-essential so that virus cannot infect those cells. Not just important for the common cold, but also that enterovirus, which has been implicated in that AFM, acute flaccid myelitis. So wow. very, very interesting research. So what are the next steps for it to actually become a cure? Not ready for prime time yet because mm -hmm. this was tested in mice. They have to develop a drug that actually blocks that protein in cells. And then, of course, they have to test it. So until that time, wash your hands. Sneeze into your arm no. and maybe keep listening to grandma for a little bit while. No. <laughs> All right, Jen, you thank bet. you. Hi, everyone. George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.